This is Katja here and today I'm making a layout for uh, AB Studio. I have this gorgeous, gorgeous paper from uh, AB Studio by Aga Baraniak. Uh, and this collection diary uh, is just amazing with the rose uh, colors and uh, I have decided to do a layout today. Uh, and look at these papers, uh, the color scheme is just amazing. So I pick out some papers here and this paper, uh, I think I can make something with it, uh, with the color in the down and, um, and the takes paper. I also like it and now I also want to have the first rose paper. I just like the papers where you can do the cutouts and you see I also pick one other one uh, the different ways paper to cut out and um, I also think to do some cutouts of the last paper uh, inspiration. So the first thing what I will do, I will do some cutouts, so the flowers I will cut out and the tags I will do some cutout. Uh, and I like how the papers yeah, just match each other. And I haven't uh, shown you, but I have uh, used uh, clear gesso on my paper all over the pages. Uh, so, if I like to paint or use some colors on it, it's ready to go. So, that's uh, the first thing I used to do when I get new papers. I paint them with clear gesso, so they are ready to go. So, now I'm going uh, to do some cutouts and I will not show you. So, to the next step. Here you see me, I have done the cutouts. Uh, the gorgeous flowers and tags and also the beige brownie flowers so now I'm ready to start uh, and the background paper also is ready I think that's perfect for my layout it was a very long time I did a layout so uh, this paper really uh, let me want to do that. Before I start, I will do some with my crocodile, some uh, holes and have some eyelets. So you see me speeding up here in the video. Uh, and that I think uh, that's make a nice detail to add some metal, uh, metallic uh, decoration on the papers. Uh, you don't need to do that. You can make the holes only if you like, but I like to add some details here. Yep, and now I have some piece of cardboard. It's 30 by 30 uh, in the same size. I have some double sided tape and I stick it uh, all over my uh, cardboard and I will add the scrapbooking paper uh, on my uh, uh, page here. Uh, that's because I know I will uh, do some uh, mediums on it and it will stay. It will do a little bit, uh, be a little bit bubbly when I add water, but it will be okay. You see uh, the paper, it's red, it's red and your own reality. That's the two papers I handed in the background of my layout. Uh, and I'm not afraid to use my papers. Uh, when I was a beginner, I saved my papers for ages because I, I only think they were so gorgeous and I was afraid to use them. But now, now I'm... Uh, really enjoying to use new papers and you see I have uh, ink my edges on the papers because I want them to show a little bit I use some masking tape um, to 
where I thinking to have it. And I have some stamps. And I stamp, uh, start with stamp uh, uh, 204 from AB Studio. And you see me randomly stamp with a black uh, water resist uh, ink pad. And I want some extra texture around my photo and more uh, heavy downstairs. Uh, I'm drying it a little bit. Uh, and uh, I was not uh, drying it uh, enough because uh, you will see in the next step how it went. Okay, I have a new uh, other one stamp. I ra uh, love numbers and letters. And here I have the stamp uh, 78. I will do some embossing. So I have a ink, uh, embossing ink and here also randomly stamping around where I have want to have extra texture and, and uh, color and black embossing ink and a uh, little bit uh, difficult to go around when you have a flat surface uh, and you know here you see the other stamp also the stamp 204 also received some um, Emboss, uh, embossing powder, but I don't mind. Uh, now I uh, have a text stamp. You see me stamping with the 79. I have some brown ink uh, and I use one because I want to have uh, like one other dimension. And you see me, I am stamping more around, not so close, because I want to have a shade about it. Okay, now it's time for the stencil number 81. And uh, some of you will say, oh, you have done some stenciling, uh, but when the layout is finished, it doesn't show. Yeah, sometimes it's like that. It doesn't show. but it, I don't mind. Uh, for me, uh, I know it's there and it show a little bit. Uh, I can do some other product where I want the, these gorgeous flowers to show better. Um, and this uh, icing paste gives uh, like a, only like a red uh, details here and there around. But it doesn't show so much. Mm, little bit pity, but I will use uh, the stencil in uh, some other product. Uh, it gives uh, some detail anyway for me. And here I have this uh, stencil number 63 and these small circles, dot circles. And I really enjoy these uh, small stencils because they are so easy to move around. You see me working around with a small stencil and because it's so small, it's so easy and versatile to use and add a little bit here and there. So I think I'm ready with the background texture. So I'm leaving it for drying. Okay, I have metallic paint here from Finaber and uh, I'm spraying some water and now you can see my paper is getting a little bit uh, bubbly uh, where the tape haven't uh, been glued uh, but it will go back when it's dry. So I use two shades, one more pinkish and one more is red wine and adding water and spraying around and a little bit too much water and it's so easy to pick up with the baby wipe. Um, so I get the background because I want it to be like a shady background. So it's not completely dry and uh, I will add one other layer. You see me here, it's not uh, completely dry. Now I will add a second layer and uh, here I want it more for the viney to show. And um, yes, randomly playing around with some paint to uh, 
to receive the shading that I want. Ah, I think I'm uh, enjoying it like that. Yes, uh, these papers from AB Studios is perfect for mixed media projects. They are thick uh, and I just love them. It's so easy to work with them. Here I have some uh, black lace fabric. I have also some double-sided foam tape uh, because I want this paper here. I want it to be like a 3D effect. And you see me here having the photo and I changed my mind. I remember, no, I want to have some tags. So you see me here now trying out how to do my composition and you see me back with the tape again. Um, sometimes uh, you forget how you want to do it. So I'm adding some glue in the back side uh, to add the last tag. I want the tag to be around my photo. And I'm trying about the flowers, what I was cut out. And trying out if uh, the black lace will work here. Yeah. So I cut out some strings and gluing and um, only pull the lace. Uh, like uh, effect so it will uh, show a little bit. Also deciding uh, that the photo will be on the upper side and not inside the other one paper there. So now you see me uh, trying out the composition. Uh, I think it's uh, just an easy way to create. Now we have a lot of cutouts and I'm trying out the composition and you see me, I was pull off the other flowers in the background. I was deciding to not use them. So I'm trying out here the gorgeous flowers and my leaves, how to do. Um, I think the photo is perfect for something, uh, flowers coming from the head. So Something like that, uh, I think I'm happy. When you try doing things like that, and if you're, uh, you want exactly that you try out, take a photo with your uh, camera so you can look at it. Me, I don't do that. Uh, I only try to do the composition to check out. Now I have double-sided tape. And I have two different uh, sizes uh, the, on the roll. It's more thick and the, what I have in the small pads is not so thick. So I use that because I want different uh, dimensions on my flowers. Some of my flowers have the more thick one and one of them have nothing. And that's because I'm doing some layering and I want to, to add them on different, uh, to make a depth, to make some uh, dimension to my layout and my composition. And you see me adding here and there, uh, details, gluing and adding them. So trying out. So don't be afraid to use your new papers, what you have. Um, because it's so fun and so uh, fun to use the new papers or you can use your old papers also if you like. But don't be afraid to cut your papers. It's only a bit, a bit of paper. Here I have some uh, black flowers and I also add them because I was thinking it look a, bit, a little bit empty there. So I'm adding some black flowers uh, to make uh, my focal point, the photo, more uh, shown. Now, you see, it's a sunny day when I'm uh, doing this and now the sun has uh, come to my window. It's uh, really hot and sunny outside and uh, I will soon go outside. I was picking a sentiment from the tags uh, paper 
make a wish. Um, and I'm thinking to add the sentiment on the upside. So, small title. You can uh, use a bigger title or have some figures or something like that. But I also here enjoy the papers uh, that you have everything in the same sort of paper collection. And you see me now I'm adding the uh, beige brownish paper flowers there. I want them to show in the background a little bit. So it's, uh, I think that's make it complete. And now I'm trying to work fast uh, because the sun is coming and uh, disturb me a little bit when I'm recording. Uh, I have some um, frames from uh, Tim Holtz. I'm adding them. Also have some Melange Art Pebbles, and this time I'm enjoying them to add them in some places. I will glue them. You can do more funny things with the Art Pebbles, but I want some discreet uh, details only showing here and there. And uh, now uh, I will add some one of my favorite uh, microbeads. Uh, this one is in silver and simply some glue and I'm sprinkling where I have the glue and go around. I want to only have fine details. Um, and now, um, soon now, I will think about it if I need to do something more. Yes, I will do some splatters. I have a black Posca pen today to use my splatter with. And then I will uh, leave it to dry and waiting uh, for the sun to pass by my window where I'm uh, doing my video shot. Uh, and this is uh, later on the day. I have no sun in the window. And now my layout is dry. And uh, I'm thinking if I will add something more. I'm thinking about if I should have done some string. Yes, if I have done something uh, different, I have add some strings. And you see what I have done with my uh, leftovers. I have uh, done some art journal pages with the beaches, um, the brownish flowers cutouts, and the leftover uh, roses. And the other ones, also a journal page, and I use the same stencil. So I have made out my cutouts and finished a layout. And thank you for watching and happy crafting time. And I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.